Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb, and today I have a book review on The Book of You by Claire Kendall. This is a general fiction thriller novel, so if you're a bit younger, this one does have um, some graphic language, and it does have some um, explicit scenes. So yeah, if you're on the younger side, I would just take that into caution when selecting this book. But I really like this book, and if you're new to my book oh, side note, this will be a spoiler for your review, so if you have not read this book, no fret, there will be no spoilers. And also, if you're new to the, my book reviews or just need a refresher, I read my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading again very soon. Five out of five, not so soon, one out of five. So this book is basically about a woman named Clarissa, and she is serving on a jury duty right now. And in that jury duty, they're discussing a very chilling, close-to-home case. And it's a case about a girl who has accused these men of sexually assaulting her. And Clarissa actually has her own strife she's dealing with right now because she is being stalked by a man named Raph or Rafe. Um, I'm going to say Rafe. It's R-A-F-E. So if I mispronounce that, I'm very sorry about that. But that's just how I'm going to proceed from now on. And this book is a very chilling tale of a stalking event. Now, this book is actually only from the perspective of Clarissa. Just a side note because I know some books like you have actually turned it around and have the perspective of the stalker. But she is the only perspective we hear from in this novel. Now plot, I give the plot a four to five. This book kind of reminded me of the feelings I had with Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. Now that book there was, it was very good, very chilling. A little, a few slow parts. This book didn't really have slow parts. I would say it was pretty fast, but there's just something missing and I can't put my finger on what was missing, but there was something just like not there. And I don't know what that is necessarily. And also I found the writing a bit hard to get into, but once I got into it, I was fully immersed. It just might've been my learning problem that really, you know, made it a little bit hard because I find certain writing is very hard for me to get into. But once I get into it, I start knowing the like vernacular and how that person constructs sentences and it becomes a lot clearer to me. Um, I can't really explain that too much as I go in. But yes, Ply gave it a four to five. I thought this book was a very good portray portrayal of somebody being stalked. I found it was very good because it not only talked about the steps they go through, it went very in depth and how like stalking can affect every aspect of your life, um, including people, like even out to like the garbage, like stuff you wouldn't even think of normally, like I know I wouldn't think of. And also I really like how throughout the whole thing, the main character has a very good under self understanding. She's very um, articulate. The main character, like what she goes through in the book, like. The author doesn't put it like sit, we're supposed to give her sympathy or like really she wants us to emphasize with the main character and really understand what she's going through and I find that very important and there's not like a poor me aspect of this book. It's a very like I'm a real person. This is what's going on. It's not really fair and I'm trying to deal with it the best I can and I'm taking a proactive approach to it and I really liked that. So characters, I'm actually giving the characters a 4.5 out of 5. Now I didn't find all the characters very well developed because the book doesn't really work with that because Clarissa has to kind of be isolated um, and you'd find out when you read this book why. But I'm just giving it a 4.5 on the merit of Clarissa. Now Clarissa was a very good main character. Yeah, we didn't get super close to her, but just her self-understanding, her proactiveness, her... She was just a very strong character, but she was going through something very traumatic and the way that she handled herself was very good. And like if you're reading this and you were a victim of stalking or something horrific, I don't think this would be... I think this would be a character that people would maybe look up, not look up to necessarily, but like be very proud of how she represents that kind of realm because that is very traumatic and I hope I'm not overstepping boundaries saying that, but that's how I personally feel. And I just found her to be a very, very good character. And yeah, she's not maybe one of the most memorable characters, but the, just the way she conducted herself gives her that 4.5. Now cover, I give a 4 to 5 as well. The cover's okay to me. It's spooky and it's haunting with the silhouette in the background. But this book doesn't really, to me, describe completely the book. Um, I really like the dark colors. I really like the spine. But it doesn't, like, scream this book. Like, it could be, like, a million other thrillers. It feels a little generic to me. But I do like it at the same time. I just wish, like, instead of having the girl with the silhouette, that we had the courtroom and the broken glass. Because even though that wouldn't be super, super descriptive, that'd be more descriptive. Because it's, like, always looking in but this one at the same time it's like stalking like broken glass looking in at her so I can understand why that would be a thing. Suspense I give this book a five to five. I really felt the suspense level was high in this book. It moved pretty fast. It was a pretty good pace like it wasn't super fast where you were 
you know, flying with the words you could hardly keep up, but it was a very fast pace for a thriller, which I really did enjoy. I found it fast, though some people might not, but I found like it got to the point faster. There was, I won't really say there's lulls really, but it was like you really wanted to know what was going to happen because the back of the book really teases like a big thing and I didn't find necessarily like this to be like a giant thing, but you know, it still was suspenseful leading up to it. And overall for rereadability, I give this book a four for rereadability. It's definitely one that I reread in the future, maybe not right away because it's still pretty fresh in my mind, but it's definitely one I'd reconsider going back to. And yes, that's my book review on The Book of You by Claire Kendall. Let's discuss this book in the comments if you've read it. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.